Hi, I'm Elif Zehra Biber. Today I will present our study of verification and validation methods used in hearing aid centers. In Turkey, hearing aids are provided through specialized hearing aid sales and application centers. According to Turkish legislation, the responsible manager in these centers must be an audiologist or an audiometrician. Among the verification methods used are real ear measurement and coupler-based measurements. In Turkey, the use of real ear measurement is mandatory in centers that provide hearing aids to children up to the age of 7. Validation methods are based on the individual's behavioral responses. For example, aided free field audiometry or institute test can be used to confirm the required gain. Institute measurement, a behavioral assessment conducted via device software, provides an audiogram created with the hearing aid as the transducer. Scales or questionnaires are utilized to evaluate the satisfaction of the hearing aid users with the device, ease of use, and integration into daily life. There is no general requirement for the use of such scales in Turkey. Their application depends on the initiative of the hearing aid practitioners. Some practitioners assess patients' daily life satisfaction through unstructured questions without using any scale. The aim of this study is to determine which validation and verification methods are used by hearing aid centers in Turkey, how frequently they are used, and the reasons for not using them if they are not employed. Additionally, we sought to identify the presence of validation devices and software in these centers. Ethical approval for this study was obtained from the Health Sciences Ethics Committee of Ankara Yildirim Bezit University. This study was conducted in November 2023 with the participation of 138 volunteer audiologists or audiometrician via the digital platform Google Forms. Participants were reached through digital platform invitations. The inclusion criterion for the study was being a graduate in audiology or audiometry who is actively working in the field. The first six questions of our questionnaire pertain to demographic information, including gender, education level, profession, the university from which the participant graduated, year of graduation, and professional experience. The following nine questions investigate the availability of tools related to verification and validation methods in hearing aid centers, the frequency in their use, of their use, whether these tools are considered worthwhile, and the reasons for not using them if they are not employed. Finally, a section is provided for participants to offer their suggestions and opinions. All questions were developed by the authors based on the literature. A total of 138 audiologists and audiometricians who are alumni of 35 different universities participated in the study. The graduation years of the participants range from 2008 to 2023, with the majority of the participants having graduated within the last three years. The majority of the participants were audiologists and the majority of participants had a four-year undergraduate degree. The rate of participants with one to five years of experience was 40.6%. The availability of verification tools is 95.7%. Verification methods are considered necessary by 92.8% of the participants. Among the participants, 78.3% reported using real ear measurement and 10.9% reported using coupler-based measurements. Regarding validation methods, 
the Insta test is used by 62.3%, aided free field audiometry is used by 49.3%, and skills and questionnaires are used by 29.7% of the participants. Participants reported using real ear measurement always at a rate of 27.5% sometimes at 41.3% and rarely at 9.4%. Additionally, 21.7% of the participants indicated that they never use real ear measurement. Participants attributed their reasons for not using real ear measurement to lack of time at 23.9%, lack of equipment at 4.3%, lack of calibration at 21% and lack of training at 23.2%. Participants indicated that they evaluated hearing aid fitting satisfaction by directly talking about performance in daily life at a rate of 82%, by using questionnaires at a rate of 9.4%, and by asking unstructured questions at a rate of 6.5%. 1.4% of the participants indicated that they do not use any methods. Out of 138 participants, 21 provided their opinions. Generally, they emphasized the importance of using verification methods, especially real ear measurement. They also mentioned the need to raise awareness among hearing aid center owners, increase education about real ear measurement, and promote its widespread and government-inspected use. However, some participants also expressed the view that instant testing is valuable in terms of patient satisfaction. Hearing aid practitioners in Turkey don't use verification tools on a daily basis and prefer validation methods, although many devices are easily accessible in centers. And these results are consistent with the literature. Although time limitation has been shown as the main reason for this, we think that awareness about verification and validation also affects this situation. Providing user-friendly protocols and raising awareness on this issue throughout the country will be beneficial. And thank you for your attention and thank you for listening.